Hello and welcome back everyone. So in this video and some of the videos following this one, we're going to start to look at the different techniques that are used by businesses during the strategic analysis process. And in this particular video, we're going to learn about the technique called the SWOT analysis. Now, before we get to the SWOT analysis, I just want to review strategic analysis quickly for a minute. Remember, this is that stage of a business where in their strategic planning, they're trying to figure out where do they stand currently and what's really happening in the external environment and how does the business change its own actions today or what sort of decisions it has to take today, keeping in mind the changing external environment and the business's current internal situation. So it's a process of conducting research. Remember, business is simply finding out answers here into the external business environment and the internal position of the business. So are they progressing? Do they have a special technology now? Or is the workforce more experienced? So you look at the internal strengths and weaknesses as well to help them formulate strategies for future success, which is what the entire strategic management process is all about. We know that already. And at this point in strategic analysis stage, businesses are looking for three answers in particular. Number one, what is our current position? So where are we now? Are we ready to go on this new strategy of growth? Are we still lacking? What are the decisions we have to take today? Number two, one, how is the external environment changing? So you know that the external environment, which is comprised of so many factors, including economic, legal, political, when those things are constantly evolving, the business also needs to evolve around them so that it can make the most of that situation. So change, figuring out how the environment is changing around that, that's the second question. And thirdly, how are you going to respond to these changes? And that's what strategic analysis will help us to figure out. And with this, now let's begin with the first technique called the SWOT analysis. So the word SWOT itself, as you can see, is clearly an acronym. And each of these letters stand for the different aspects that the business wants to look at during its strategic management process. So the first letter S stands for strength. W stands for weakness. O stands for opportunity. And T stands for threat. So strength, opportunity, uh, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat collectively form the SWOT analysis. Now, you have to understand that this is where the business is trying to research into what's happening in and around the business. So the SWOT analysis, first of all, is a good analysis because it looks at both the internal factors of a business and the external factors. And... Hopefully, you would have figured that out. But if you look at it more closely, two of these are internal to a business and two of these are external. And for example, if I asked you, if I was interviewing you and I asked you, what are your strengths? You wouldn't look around your things that are external to you. You're going to look inside and tell me you're confident, you're uh, compassionate, you're diligent. So you look within yourself for strengths and weakness is the same. You look at what you're lacking within you. So strengths and weaknesses are both internal to a business whereas when you look for opportunities and threats they're obviously presenting themselves from the space around you so they are external so when businesses want to see what are they doing well within itself they will look at the strengths and weaknesses the internal side and what's changing in the external environment they'll look at opportunities and threats that's the external side and the strengths weakness opportunities and threats could be anything the business feels that it can note down. So for example, if you're talking about strengths, it could be that you have an innovative product. So Tesla has a car that's quite innovative, so that's what one of their strengths. Maybe you have good quality check process. Maybe your location is such, you're selling seafood and you've got a restaurant by the sea, that's going to bring in customers. So what you have going for you internally is your strength. Your weaknesses are things that are not going right internally within the business. So it could be things such as a high gearing ratio, which simply means that you have a lot of debt. You've taken a lot of money from banks and financial institutions and you're paying a high interest on that. 
perhaps there was an incident in the past that damaged your reputation and now it's coming back to haunt you and you can't get the sales numbers that you want or maybe it's just that you're not keeping up with the quality expectations of your customers so those would be your weaknesses externally when a business looks at opportunities to capitalize on they will look at things such as international trade agreements that, uh, that different countries sign between them to demolish protectionism laws such as tariffs quotas and embargoes maybe you have an opportunity to merge with or take over another business and expand further become a bigger business and eliminate competition at the same time or maybe just one of your competition couldn't keep up with your tenacious nature of biz doing business and they're shutting down and that's an opportunity for you to catch up with all their customer base threats again external to a business perhaps there's new competition a similar business opening up a few shops down from you maybe you're too dependent on one or two suppliers and if they shut down then your business shuts down so that's again a big risk the business is taking or maybe governments change policies they want to tax more and perhaps you're in that industry which is being taxed more so that could be a threat that you're facing so businesses will go through this process of SWOT analysis to figure out what's going for them in terms of the strengths and opportunities and what's going against them in terms of the weaknesses and threats. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is going to make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.